You seem to be even happier mood than normal, Yinshan. Something exciting happening? Agaza asked, laying on your bed while you were sitting near your vanity, drawing some of your friends. Yeah, Muzan said I can start going outside once a week with Kogashibo. You got up and oh, he got up and came over to you. Well, I'm happy that you'll be able to get some fresh air. Maybe you'll also be able to escape. I hope so. She then saw you were doing a sketch of Ngoku. You're drawing Gojiro. I really want a rematch with him. He laughed and you nervously chuckled. You weren't fond of that idea? It took... Oh. It looked somewhat like a decent sketch. Now, by the way, this is a sketch for, that you can do in your head. Or it can just be a picture of Rengoku. But yeah. So, I was right about you being an artistic type. That's actually a really good sketch. I bet it would look great with color, he said, looking at the sketch. Yeah, I guess. The darker parts are kind of messy, and I think I might have made the eye or eyebrow too big. There is that damn... Where's that damn demon stronghold? Shiagas was said while searching for you. Oh, by the way, these are the tiny little parts. I forgot to say that. I'm so sorry, Yinchan, because of me, you got captured. Mitsuri said, sitting at her table at her estate, eating food. What kind of prayers would Yinchan say if she was here? Hemiji, I think that's how I say right. Asked while crying in his normal spot where he prayed. Oh my god, my fourth wife to be, please return to us safely. He said to in his room while his wives were making dinner. Damn Tengen, how mean. Do you think I should have talked to her more? Kaburuma, I think, so I say, which is a snake. Obanai asked his snake, well, he hang out in a tr- hanged out in a tree. This isn't normally as fun as it usually is. It is much more fun with her, Michiro said to himself, looking at the sky. What kind of failure am I? She saved my life, and I wasn't there to even help her escape or save her. And Goku sat on his bed with his hand over his face. I never noticed how quiet it was in this room. Shinobu was drinking tea by herself. In the room, you usually drink tea together. It's happening again, Giyu said to himself while he was walking around. Yin, I miss you so much. Please come back to us, Tanjiro said while rem- remissing old memories with you. I miss that girl with the hair color hair, Inosuke said. Yin, my angel, I hope you're okay. It would be a shame if you died. It, you are such a beautiful goddess, Sinisi said to himself while he trained a bit. You seem to be really enjoying yourself. How can I not be? I am out of that maze of a building. There's so many f- pretty flowers. The stars are shining, and the moon looks extra bright and lovely tonight. Hmm. You said as you spin around. Round enjoying the freedom you temporarily have. You have, oh, you two have been doing this for about three weeks now. Then you sat on the ground and had Kokoshibo join you as both of you have a polite conversation. You were making flower crowns. You made yourself one, then you started working one for Kokoshibo. Little did you know a crow was flying by, but it just so happened to be a crow for the demon slayers. As soon as it saw you, it flew back to inform the master. He was overjoyed to hear the news from his crow. Some oh, Soon everybody was informed of the news. The Hashiro were ready to get their dear friend back, as well as a trio and Nezuko. Good thing there was a lot of purple flowers. I really think, oh, really compliment your kimono, Kogashibo. I suppose they do. Just imagine Kokoshiba with a flower crown. That's it. Thanks for taking the time out of... Oh, taking the time to take me out here, Kokoshibo. It's no problem, but we must return soon. Aw, fine. I lay down and stared at the stars. 
What are you doing? Stargazing. He then laid right next to me. Do you know what's so fun about looking at stars? I don't know. What is it? They make all kinds of fun shapes, like what one makes a dog, or those ones who look like a pair of twins. He s stared at them for a sec. I guess they kind of do look like those things. He looked over at you and felt his heart skip a beat. He saw how the stars made your eyes shine. You felt him looking at you and turned to, to turn towards him. Is something wrong, Kokushiba? He looked back at the stars. No, everything's fine. Then everybody heard the news about you. There were two Hashira nearby. The insect and wind Hashira ran to the area the crow saw you and teamed up. They were informed that you were with Upper Moon One. They knew better that they weren't ready to fight him, so they agreed to propose saving you. Sanami could, uh, would keep Upper Moon One distracted while Shinobu ran with you, since she was the fastest out of the two. No, she's not. I'm sorry. It was quiet, but all of a sudden, I heard a sound of skin being slashed. I saw Shinagazwa leaning his sword to cut all of Kokushiba's eyes. Shinagazwa's sand! Kokushiba... Oh, not Kokushiba. Kyocho's sand. Take her. All of a sudden, I was grabbed and was moving fast. I looked to see... Shinobu? Don't worry, Yin... Lin Shen, we'll save you. Soon, we were really far away from the spot me and Kokushiba were. Sanami was keeping Kokushiba distracted. He was mostly acting on defense. He tried his best not to get stabbed. Then Kokushiba realizes you weren't around and looked in all directions. Sanami noticed he was distracted and ran away to meet up with you. Then he realized that Sanami left and he held his head in frustration. I lost her. Master is going to punish or maybe even kill me for this. And right after I thought I would protect her. He then looked at the moon, realizing the sun was coming up soon. This isn't over. If I survive, I'll get her back, no matter what. Then he disappeared into the Infinity Fortress. Lin Shen, I'm glad you're safe. What did they do to you? Did they hurt you? Shinobu was checking your face and constantly asking questions. Sanami then saw the bandage bandage on your neck and uncomfort it. That doesn't make any sense. Why did they just bite you? They didn't pull off the flesh? Um, Kabutsuchi did that. He sucked my blood while I was kept there. So he used you for a food supply? You nodded and wrapped it back up. Well, I'll treat it at the butterfly estate. Let us go now. Then everyone heard that you've been rescued. Everyone visited the butterfly estate. The trio was actually already there, so. You jumped when the screen door slammed open and you saw Tancho. He bolted towards you and hugged you as you were about, like, if you were about to disappear. Yin, I'm so glad you're safe. You patted his back and petted his hair. Yin Shen! Zenitsu then came in and hugging you. Yin, Inosuke yelled and hugged you as well. They hang out. They hung out with you, telling you how happy they were that you were safe and back to them. Later, one by one, the Hashira came to visit you. Mitsuri arrived first and cried and pleaded for your forgiveness for being so weak and letting you get captured. You patted her head and told her that you forgive her and it wasn't her fault. You told her that you getting captured was your choice she then calmed down and gave back your necklace that you put on her before you got kidnapped she also gave you some sakura mochi rengoku then came to visit you and just hugged hugged you while telling you how sorry he was what sorry he wasn't there for you you comforted him and told him that there was no way he could know and said it's in the past and now you're back so everything is fine Michiro came to visit you and had some paper so you could make paper airplanes and chat for a while Gyome came back and said how blessed he felt to know that you were fine 
Then he gave you a rosary necklace similar to his, except one of the beads were blue. May this keep you safe. Thank you, Gomeg-san. Uzui visited you, but looked slightly different. One of his eyes was missing, and some of his arm was gone too? Apparently on the mission, he went on the oh, enter, what? Enter, counter with a, a fight with the Upper Moon Six, Gitaru, and Daki. They won, but after the fight, Uzui had to retire. So that's why you hadn't seen Gotu and Daki in the past probably month. They were dead? You felt sad remembering the good interactions you had with them, but hoped that they could find peace. You also felt his oh, so, met his three wives, and they totally adored you. You were so pretty and kind, they absolutely fell in love with you. Oban I visited you and told you he was glad you were okay. He then chatted with you for a while. Shinobu walked in and had tea with you, while also chatting with you. Sanami came by and checked on you, asking if you were okay. He was quiet when you said you were fine. Okay, I'm gonna go do something, but don't you dare tell anyone about this. He then gave you a hug. Shinagazu-san, I'm glad you're safe. He then let go and walked away. You softly smiled and giggled. He stood to Sundere. Then, finally, Giyu visited you while bringing you some snacks and soji, a soji board to play a couple of rounds. He also said how he was glad that you were safe. Then night came and Nezuko came out of the box and ran over to hug you while she was slightly crying. You patted her head. I'm glad to see you too again, Nezuko. Everybody in the Demon Slayer was so happy. The angel of the Demon Slayer, of course, has returned. <laughs>